So hello and welcome to this first walkthrough feature jam video on Marbles, Mutable Instruments new random sampler module. Now it's not a sampler in the sense of audio sampling, like say an MPC, but random sampling as in sample and hold, random modulation and looping and locking of these random values. We have a timing side to the left, T, clocks, gates, random gates, pattern generation for rhythmic things, and an X section to the right, which is CV. Let's just listen to this patch first. I'll play around with some of the parameters and then we'll get into everything that's happening here and quickly walk through the features before a more comprehensive video follows from me soon. In stereo, I have the main out and auxiliary out from Mutable Instruments Platts, so make sure you're listening in stereo. Not really meant to be stereo, but it works really well in some of the modes. Check out my Platts videos in the description. I have a kick from Mutable Instruments Braids and two drum sounds from a Pico Drums from Erica Sims. So let's have a play around and then we'll get into the features. So let's start with that timing side. Now the third mode for this side is weighted towards bass drum and snare drum rhythms. Now normally in the green mode we have T2 which is a clock output. This is just triggering my hi-hat and the bias between T1 and T3 combine together to create the clock. And this works very much like branches. And I'll link my video on Mutable Instruments branches in the description. Bias to the left means we'll get the gates out of the T1 output. To the right, out of T3. And in the middle, an even coin toss between the two. And you can have that anywhere in between and also CV this. It's fantastic for, say, controlling an open and a closed hi-hat. Again, go watch my branches video for more of that. The orange mode is then generated by dividing random ratios. The more extreme ratios... ...come at the higher settings. There are always musical divisions and multiplications of this clock, which is T2. Third mode weighs this towards kick and snare. Now you weren't hearing the kick drum there, but I will bring that back in. Let's go back to the orange mode. The red mode follows more regular kick and snare patterns. In the middle, kick on the equivalent of say beats one and three, snare on two and four. Different biases give different rhythms. Very much like grids from, again, beautiful instruments. Now, we have this deja vu section, which is like a locking 
kind of pattern looper, random sampler, if you will, and a length of this sampling. I am modulating my kick drum from this right hand side. So although we're not looking at this side yet, you are hearing changes in my modulation from this side. We have jitter, which can be anything from a nice bit of swing. And this amount of randomness in the clock's timing simulates instrumentalists lagging or catching up and then complete chaos at higher settings. But I can lock those beats. So we've got this nice little custom swing. Really cool. The deja vu knob in its center position will keep these locked, but by just bringing this back, it will start to let random bits of information come into this loop for a slow, modulating, continually evolving loop. Or we can just turn it off. So that's the drum side for now. Again, a more fulsome, I shouldn't say fulsome because someone always says I'm trying to copy Nick back as if he's got some kind of trademark on the word fulsome. But anyway, that jitter carries through to the modulation side. The three modulation outputs, X1, 2, and 3, are influenced by this left-hand side. We can also clock these sides as well, should we wish. We can also sample external CV if we want to, but I'm not doing that here. Taking this back to a stable clock, this is locked because the button is on. Without changing anything, let's change that deja vu and just let some new information enter the pattern. And we can CV that locking from completely open. We can bring some jitter back into the clock. We can bias the voltages from low to high, even when they're locked. We can choose the output range from not to two volts, not to five, or minus five to plus five. Let's stick at not to five. The spread controls the probability and the random spread and probability distribution, the kind of width and shape of available random. From nothing, around two o'clock to being an even spread, to just being low or high values, effectively turning these into random gates, because it's just low or high, on or off. The step control, will take us from slewed random voltages, bendy, wobbly, drunk sounding random voltages, up to unquantized, let's take locking off, just unquantized voltages at 12, and then this increasingly quantizes into a scale. Let's just lock this. And at full value, it's just bouncing around in octaves. So we can find musical quantized loops, how quantized they are, from chromatic, unquantized, slewed. Lock them, change the probability spread, the length of the locked loop. Bias them to lower or higher notes. Let's get the drums back in, find a nice sequence.
Now I'm splitting these random voltages to modulate the length, the FM and the clickiness in my kick. And these are coming from this side, so they're locked. Mutable Instruments Platz is also getting modulated. Let's modulate that bias with this middle Y output, which is a continuously smooth fluctuating random voltage. Let's bring in some new random data by offsetting that deja vu. Drums back in. And let's have a play around. Thanks for watching this preliminary feature jam walkthrough with marbles in control of absolutely everything in this patch. Hit like, subscribe, comment, leave some questions. The more fulsome overview video will be coming soon. Spot me on Patreon if you'd like extra content and thanks for watching. Cheers.